Hey everybody, I am Surbhi and you are watching Key Differences. In this video, I am going to talk about the differences between qualitative data and quantitative data. So friends, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Qualitative data. When the data is based on quality, that is property or characteristics, it is called qualitative data. It is based on observations. Hence, it is used to carry out open-ended studies which allows the participants to express their true feelings and actions. This data contains attributes, that is quality, for which numerical value cannot be assigned. That is, it cannot be transformed into numbers. In other words, the data which can be expressed in words is qualitative data. This data provides insights and understanding about the particular problem. Alternatively, it is known as categorical data. For example, color of hair, taste of food, etc. There are two types of qualitative data, nominal data and ordinal data. The data used to label something without assigning any numerical value is nominal data, whereas the data organized and categorized in a particular order is called ordinal data. Forms of qualitative data Qualitative data can be in the form of structured text, that is stories, writings, survey comments, etc. It can also take the form of unstructured text like transcription, interviews, conversation, etc. It can also take the form of audio recordings, video recordings, etc. Qualitative data can be collected by way of observations, interviews, focus group discussions, etc. Talking about quantitative data. Data which can be counted or measured, in short quantified, is called quantitative data. That is, the type of data which contains variables for which numerical value can be assigned is called quantitative data. The variables can be height, weight, age, test scores, etc. Quantitative data can be expressed in numbers and statistics such as units, price, rate of change and ratios. Because this data is in numerical form, it can be used in computations and statistical tests. It can be easily presented in tables, charts, graphs, etc. For example, number of pets, date, temperature, etc. Further, quantitative data are of two types, that is discrete data and continuous data. Anything that can be counted comes under discrete data, or we could say data which has finite number of values is discrete data, whereas anything that can be measured comes under continuous data. In this data, possible values falls on a continuum. The methods used for collecting quantitative data include survey, interviews, questionnaire, experiment, opinion poll, etc. Moving on to the difference between qualitative data and quantitative data. Meaning, the data type in which classification of objects is based on attributes is called qualitative data. Qualitative data is non-numerical data which explains opinions and feelings of a person. Whereas, the type of data which can be counted and expressed in numbers and values is called quantitative data. It can be numerically analyzed and quantified into solid facts. Research methodology. The research methodology is exploratory in qualitative data. That is, it is used to provide insights and understanding about a particular subject. On the other hand, quantitative data is conclusive in nature, which aims at testing a specific hypothesis and examining the relationships. Nature Qualitative data is descriptive, that is, it uses words and language. It is basically text-based, as against quantitative data is countable or measurable, that is, it is related to numbers, hence it is number-based. What type of questions it answers? While qualitative data describes attributes, and so it helps in understanding why and how behind any behavior. Quantitative data, on the other hand, explains how many, how much, and how often. How do we collect this data? Qualitative data is collected through interviews, case studies, and observations. Conversely, quantitative data is collected through surveys, observations, closed-ended questions, experiments, etc. Next, while qualitative data is suitable for formulation of hypothesis and collecting detailed information from small groups, as against Quantitative data is suitable for drawing conclusions through large-scale studies and carrying out statistical analysis. Next, example. Qualitative data can be gender, 
nationality, marital status, native language and qualification of a person. Whereas quantitative data can be age, weight, height, income and marks of a person. So friends, this brings me to the end of this lesson. I hope the concept has been clear now. However, if you want to study the topic further in detail, you can visit our official website that is keydifferences.com. Here you can find a detailed comparison of qualitative and quantitative data along with their definitions. Links are also provided in the description box below. So guys, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and share it with other people. Also, if you are new to this channel and want to get more such useful videos, consider subscribing the channel and also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time whenever a new video is uploaded on this channel. And if you have any queries or feedback for me, feel free to leave in the comment section below. Until next time, this is me Surbhi signing off.